Okay, um, well, we'll start off with the apologies. We'll have more apologies in the middle, and we'll finish up with some more, right? Uh, first apology is, I'm afraid this is not quite as well prepared as it ought to be. <laughs> because for the first time in 15 years, I actually listened to the advice my father gave me a long time ago, which was to go out and get a proper job. Um, so like last, last year at Geek Camp, we had this thing, we did all sorts of amazing things, because basically I was self-unemployed. I was, you know, so I could take time off and do whatever I wanted to. Um, so I've actually been at doing some real work which somewhat distracted me from the important things in life. <laughs> Terribly sorry. But it'll sort of work, okay? Which is about the best we ever, ever hope from this sort of thing, right? So, um, Adnan and Dave present, oh no, not more hardware. Um, in case you're confused, this is Adnan. <laughs> Where's the pack of cards? Where is the pack of cards? Somewhere here. I, I deliberately went up all the pack of cards. Then I went and lost them. This one. Well, I, I, those will do. Thank you. Um, are they open? Yes, that will do. I actually, I actually want to pause now. They're probably still in the car. Um, right. So, yes. Uh, see, I only was telling you. Um, basically, it all started on Facebook on the. It says that 10th of September last year, which is slightly under a year ago, when Mike Chen posted up uh, this awesome creator of the Raspberry Juice expansion. You can read, can you read that? Is it too small? Basically, Adnan had wandered into hackerspace with this amazing little board that he's built, right? And he was showing it to everybody, and everybody was incredibly impressed with it. Oh look, <laughs> we've got one here. Where did that come from? <laughs> okay, we have one here. Um, We'll show you, some, you'll, you'll be seeing it quite a bit, because this is something that we're going to be showing off, right? Um, yes, Mike got his name wrong, didn't you, Mike? I've got evidence. I also have evidence of the jokes from last year, by the way, for your birthday. I, in, in trawling for this, I found those as well, but I'll keep those private, right? So anyway, yes, so yes, Mike was part of all of this stuff, and this sort of gathered my attention. Um, because I had just done a trade with Mike. He'd given me his Raspberry Pi and I gave him an Ethernet shield, which was the thing I used last year in GitCamp. So I then had this Raspberry Pi and I didn't know what the hell to do with it. I mean, I don't know if it looks right. So, yeah, so I had this and it, it, it went on. I mean, he was, so yeah, so I, I finally figured out that I really ought to meet Adnan. So Adnan came to meet me in my office which was very fortuitous because, um, yeah, uh, well basically I was about to move, on, move my office, Adnan helped me move my office, and we, after that we started sort of like doing all sorts of crazy stuff to you. <laughs> um, so, yes, so now Adnan and Dave present Omo Not More Hardware, right, the Raspberry Pi edition. Last year was the Arduino edition, right? Featuring the Raspberry Pi and the Raspberry Juice. Okay, so for those of you who are not aware, everybody know the Raspberry Pi? Yeah. 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 Good. So it's this lovely, inexpensive ARM based Linux PC. It's got a load of RAM, SD cards, sound, all sorts of lovely things, and there's a huge user group. And the Raspberry Juice, which is at this little board here, let me tell you something about it because it's really very, very useful, right? Well, to start off with, you've got an extra processor on there. It is an Atmel AVR processor. Um, it's got a regulated power supply, right? Every time you're, like normally, if you power your Raspberry Pi off um, the micro SD card, it's all like, it's a bit dodgy sometimes. You don't have enough power sometimes to power all the Wi-Fi dongles and stuff. This guy will take from 6 to 23 volts plugged in on where are they? Oh, one of the connectors, right? Um, and it will power your Pi and it will give you enough current in there to drive almost anything else you might plug into the USB. It's wonderful like that. It's got RS-232 ports. Does anybody remember RS-232? <laughs> a few of us. Well, actually, they're incredibly useful, as you will see in a while, hopefully. Right? 
Uh, RS-485, we're not going to go into that, that's a bit more on the advanced side. It's got a real-time clock, now that's nice. Right, otherwise, you turn off your Raspberry Pi, next time you get onto the network, it will try to figure out the time again. If you can get onto the network, because sometimes you don't get onto the network because your time's wrong. Right, this guy, it will help you remember that. But it's, got, it's got all sorts of other things, like digital pins, analog pins that you can play with. Um, so, I just said all of that. Except, what we're going to play with today is the servo control and a few other things. Um, I've got one here. Let's see if we can bring that up. Okay, here. It's here. It's not there. Isn't that crazy? I don't like that. It's so uh, like it killed me. I did. It's up. Is it? Okay. Ah, because it's on the second screen. Don't tell me. Okay, here we go. I can't slide this. I can't slide this. Look at that. Right, that's all I have. Okay. For the very first time today, it is connected to this Raspberry Pi that is not on a network. Right? You wander into a strange place, and believe me, this is Microsoft, it's a very strange place. And if you're lucky, Somebody might have given you the network password. And it, does, does it, hide? it doesn't hide the network it password. Oh, dear, in now. 10 minutes' time, you're all, going to have, you're all going to have a network password. Oh, sorry, Justin. <laughs> um, right, where am I? So, yes, um, this is very weird stuff. Quick connection. We're going to try to connect to not that guy, but that one. Will it connect? I can't see it bloody. You can that. It's all right. the green button. You will what green button? Uh, maximize. Uh, no, 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 no. no, I'm just panicking. No. Oh. Yeah, kind of, well, yeah, it maximized on the wrong screen, of course. <laughs> now I'm going to try it. Back of. It said it was connected, didn't it? It did say it's connected. Why is it not? I don't know. panicking now. It's connected. It's connected. Yeah. If you press the press an enter button, mm -hmm. yeah, I did. Got light there. That did. Is, are, the, are the wires disconnected here? They were. I had to resolve them. Tell you what. Really good, is it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is it going to say anything? Are you on that? Should not see it? Yeah. Log level. Okay. Mm. Log level 5. No, what's log level 5? It might take some time. In, uh, I think it's speed. I can't see the speed is down at the bottom. Well, I'll find it. Yeah, I should be all right. Um, hmm. So, what do you want to get? You, can you get this guy up? I, I passed this to you. Can you get it up in your notebook? Okay, I'm um, Jack. Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, that's very bad. I told you I'm going to apologise several times today. What normally happens at this point is that you go in there and you can see, you can talk to it even if you don't have the Ethernet access. So you can set up the Wi-Fi. So now we're not going to be giving away the Wi-Fi password. Um, and so you can do stuff when you have a little connection, which is really very nice. Now let us return to the show somehow. Slide show. Yes. Where did we get to? It's not going to take me back. It's gone back to the beginning again. Panic. OK. Um, So, where were we? We were... Okay, so if you don't have a keyboard available, it worked this morning. It worked outside. It will work again in a couple of minutes. But it's not working now. Actually, I could do that one here, couldn't I? This one? Yes, we just did, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Let us... Sorry, it's here. What am I talking about? It's here. What kind of fool am I? Sorry, okay. Um, where did Okay, that has this wonderful thing, he puts a lot of little jack plugs on fast. Because I develop a lot of embedded devices. Right. Yeah. I I use a small 2.5 mm plug for the RS2 to, um, RS232 connections. So it's easy for me to switch from device to device rather than um, using the the old old style DB9 connector. Yes, yes, yes. Why is it doing that? 
for the old style DB5 um, RS2 play two connections, we use the uh, DB9 connectors. Yeah, but um, for my embedded devices, I use a common 2.5 mm jack. So it's easy for me to switch from embedded device to embedded device. Oh, so it's like a okay, it's talking German. I'm talking Spanish. Huh? Um, can you reset your turn? <laughs> oh, okay, I'll tell you what. Let's close it and start again. I'll tell you what. Let's close it and we will start it. I hate working on the other side of the screen. Okay, one more time. We will get there. Um, because there, there is actually some good stuff further down the line. If we get there, guys. Zock. It's amazing thing. It's called the Zock. Boom. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't like it, does it? Um, it's your boring right? way. Correct. Four red must be correct. One one five two hundred. Eight M one. Tell you what. Shut this down. Unplug the USB device. Unplug the USB device, and then we start. Yeah. Unplug the Um, because the connection is already made with the. Shut down your zock. Zock. Um, I will try and work. Um, hmm. We could, of course, move on to the socks connected to your device. I'll tell you what, should we just put Thomas on the track and sit and try and move forward? And then see if we can figure this one out later. All right. Okay, we will have one last try at this. If it doesn't work, we will move forward. We will miss a whole load of stuff. Actually, you won't miss too much. No, I don't have to turn. Just turn my back on. Back on this side. Go with it. Start. Zop is skip. Ah, okay, could not open the port. We try it one more time. There we go, we plug it in one more time. Here we go. Quick connection. Right, everybody, uh, quick prayer, please. We are connected. It says we are connected. <laughs> okay, what can we do about Hang on, did I press the button? Nothing. Life is very strange. Um, it could be this been living in a box for a while. Um, hmm. okay, I'm gonna panic there. Let's let's move on. Okay, I'm gonna, this is very embarrassing because that's supposed to show you the servos mo moving. The servos move very nicely. This thing here goes up and down very nicely. It's supposed to be a water tower down there for Thomas, just to let you know, right? Um, okay. Um, right, no, I'm gonna move on because twice time. Right, so, um, we will instead, we will carry on with requiring a volunteer. Now, this is gonna be dangerous. I don't know, do you have any more about Yes. Now, I will choose a volunteer totally at random from the audience. I can't see anybody, but this, this audience isn't very random, is it? Um, so, I've got someone over there who's petrified that I will, that I will choose her, so I won't say any. There you go, they have got a number of it. Can <laughs> you show it to the audience? Can you show it to me? Oh, that was a point. Three years have death big podcast. Okay, it's got a number, this is a hundred, right? Thank you. A totally random choice, yes? Um we we had, as I said, sort of like planned this to be a lot more um what's the word? Mystical and everything else, but it sort of blew up because we we didn't have time to get in here and set it all up. So instead of that, we're going to take this and we're going to stick it down here and we're going to pray an awful lot of blue tack holes up. Right, now, Magnum, can you do your magic with Thomas? With? With Thomas. Can you log in? Uh, I, could, I probably could do actually, couldn't I? Yeah. Uh, am, am I connected to that network? I'm not even connected to that network. Do you know that? Uh, password. No, I, I, I know the password. Where's, I, all I need is the network. Where's the password? 
You remember? I remember that. Where's the network? It's not here. Oh, yes, it is. Here we go. Do you know what the channel is? Yeah. I have a hotspot. That's okay. We, we have a network. <laughs> It's not sure. No, it's not amazing. Good job, good job. Zoc, I think Zoc has a problem. I think Zoc has a problem. I think Zoc has a problem. Okay, one more. I think I'm having a good day. Am I? What's the energy supposed to be? Just a second. Here. What's the energy supposed to be? Can you shoot me? Can you hear me? I'll try. Have you seen the password yet? Uh -huh. Anybody from Geek, anybody who knows the Geekcamp password, can you check I've got the Geekcamp password for that tape? Yeah. For which lock of that one? Is that correct? Like you mentioned, it's Microsoft. We are big habits here. No, it's, it's a dongle from our dongle. Yeah, but it's still. Yeah. 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 Um, this was supposed to be a magic trick. It's obviously not very magic. I'm going to tell you what is, what's going to be happening, right? What we have got stuck on Thomas, Thomas has got a whole load of batteries on him as well as running off the track. He has also got a camera, right? Now, just imagine this, right? I'm going to set up an imaginary magic trick, and then when you imagine how absolutely wonderful it would be, you can all go, whoa, right? So, here we go. We've got Thomas. Thomas has got a Raspberry Pi camera on him. Ah, he also has a magical little OLED module, which is a display module, right? Ooh. Which I don't have been buying in copious quantities from, from Adafruit, courtesy of 12 gigs, right? Um, so what we were originally planning to do is we're going to have a covered section. Someone will pick the card, we drop it into a slot, and Thomas will be sitting there with lights and see the card. <coughs> And the person who's seeing it streaming onto his console would then type in the command to make it display on the OLED. And Thomas would come out saying, look, this is the card. And you'd think it was magic, right? Oh. 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 you guys, right? Um, instead of that, we're going to see what we can do, right? Um, you're still going to see the OLED working. Although we may have to zoom something. We might have to bring it right close here so you can see it, right? Um, You'll still see, we'll see if we can get the picture up for you, if they can get me on. Yeah, okay. It's very interesting, though, isn't it? It always works. It, it even works when you're sitting outside, right? It never works when you want to do that. Um, okay. Yeah, okay, so Dave, what's yeah. the thing is, this one is pretty weak, so I can recommend you. Yeah. Is that one? It's this one, isn't it? Yeah, it's that, it is that it's one. It's this one. Um, can you connect this to a business? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. One mini container has got... What happens does that... Would that help? Yeah, it will help. It's probably only one power. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Let's try. If we are, tell me, work. Yes. Oh, 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 I hope Thomas. There's always power. I hope power. Thomas has got. Some. What? Yeah. Okay. So Thomas on the Wi-Fi. Wi My laptop. Oh. Right. All right. So big round of applause. Yeah, no. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How do I get? How do I spin into it? It's just with Firefox. Yes. I'm not kidding. Are you not kidding, Thomas? Yes. Um. Oh, um, show the Sure, yes. Is this in Thomas? Yeah, you can, you can slide it to the other side once you've got it. What's the other one? 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 What's 
starting at this thing I did on that. So that how much was one one two then? Yes. inside the shell shell script. One is the MJPEG streamer and the other one is Raspi still uh, Raspi still. Okay. So what Raspi still does is that it captures a bunch of JPEG files into a temporary directory mm -hmm. and then MJPEG streamer will watch that directory and whatever new files that get stuffed into that directory it takes it as the next uh, JPEG image to show as an MPEG stream and JPEG stream. So now we can use a browser to to go into um, Thomas and then um, watch the stream. Uh, um, how do I start your web browser on Mac? First of all, we have to see if you can unplug this. Sure, just pull it. Okay, let's take him back to where he was and see what can happen. There he is. Right, this is the height of optimism here. Browser. Yes. A browser, we have many browsers. Which browser would you like? Chrome. <laughs> Chrome. Pick a Chrome. Any Chrome which hopefully it shows. Oh, that's not hey. Well, this is this is totally at random. Totally at random. I don't know how this is. He likes you. Oh. Hang on, hang on. We've got a different size screen. Let's try and maximize it for that screen. Is it going to work? Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, there you go. You have a black browser. <laughs> Good for it. Um, we're going to have to be up there. We want to put in the browser like here first, right? Is it easy first or just one moment? Um, can try both. Dot zero dot one one two colon 
at 9,000. 9,000. Yeah, and we should get a web page of MJ Bank's payment. If we are. Okay, so that's the the demonstration page of MJPEG Streamer. Uh -huh. All right. If we went to static, static. Okay. Yes. Yeah. We should see. Uh, oh. Oh. Why is he looking at me? You <laughs> cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> I told you this before. Okay, let's come on. So, okay. Oh, uh, again. Yeah, why not? Let's see if we can. Let's refresh here. Um, uh, okay, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right there. What we got? What we got? 100. 100. Oh, well, okay. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Ha! Huh. Because if you do that, now, what I'm going to. What, what being a bully, what I'm going to persuade Adnan to do now is to find SSH into it. One night. Uh, what is it? It's root out, is it? Um, yeah, root. Root at one one two dot one six eight dot zero zero dot one one two one one two. That's what it's one two three. Don't tell me. <laughs> 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 I think I might have done that. Yeah. I mean, right. So remember, guys, always choose very complicated passwords. Otherwise, somebody might overhear you telling them. Right now, what was the code? LCD. Yeah. Oh, it's got to be in quotes, yeah? Yeah. The chart is 100. Right? This is what we were going to do. We were going to be typing in magical commands like this. It says no such, no such, what folder is it in? <laughs> <laughs> Can you see the shell, please? You have the uh, browser. Yeah. Right? Move the terminal over. Terminal screen over. Not until we got it working, mate. Not until we got it working. Give me a break. Are we locked in as a right user? Should it be root or should it be admin? Admin. Okay, go here. Yeah. So you do that. Run, run it and you, you can that space for that command. And then we'll show you what we've got, right? Phew. We have a few percentage of what we're looking for here. Um, so, yes, we've got the terminal. Oh god, he's in the bloody picture again, isn't he? Oh well, never mind. Um, right, so what Adnan's doing now is the secret part that you weren't going to see. Typing in, the card is 100. And he'll probably show you that he's done it in a minute, just because the standard policy of today is openness and transparency, right? <laughs> yeah. Since, enter. Enter. Ooh. Right, so here we go. Just to show you, we bluff you not. Right, here we go, he put in LCD, the, LCD, the card is 100. The question is, what actually happened? What actually happened? Um, right, how, did that thing doesn't go onto the screen, does it? Well, you could turn on your camera. I could turn on my camera. Or my photo booth. Photo booth, yeah, thank you. Thank you, then we're gonna show some idiot holding. Oh, hang on, huh? I'm already on the... Well, you are. Show yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anybody got a mirror? <laughs> no, no, no. Let's let's just try this. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's panic mode. Panic mode. I'm going to panic. I'll do the first one, right? But if that begins with a lot of P, doesn't it? Right? Photo booth. And a, a, a photo booth. Here we go. Right. I'm going to be Sometimes I get embarrassed. Sometimes I get very embarrassed. Okay. So here we go. Well, that's standard. See, Thomas, it's a, it is a. And how do I actually get it to focus on that, do you reckon? I can't. Yeah. Guys, yeah. What was it called? Blooming. Yeah. When something's too um, bright. Yeah. Okay, that basically, uh, firstly, it's back to front. So if you read the reverse, it says, the card is 100. Can you see that? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That, that was a 20 second hack that we did just before the show, right? Okay, so here we go, we put it back there, see what else you can see. You see, Thomas actually is a bit of a train fan. If we're lucky, can you see the train? Where's the... Oh, he can, can, can see nothing, he can see me. No, that's the... No, that's the... That's the... That's the... That's the... That's the... Oh, so it is. <laughs> see what happens when you let Englishmen run the bloody show. 
Okay, you can still see me. We're going to really lose it. You see, Thomas actually likes trains. So I'm going to show you. Can you see the trains? No. 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 Yeah. Too small, are they? No, no it's just dark. It's dark. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that me? Whoa. Whoa. Yes, that's you. It's too dark. Yes, we see. I don't know where I had. I had a light somewhere. Yeah. No lights. Left it at home in the car. Oh well. Um, in that case, there you go. There you go. Let's face it that way. Okay. So what we got here is a fantastic. Very dark audience, aren't we? You can see it says it says uh, the card is 100. Yes. And we could actually change that, but we're not going to because we've screwed up enough. <laughs> so there we go. We have Thomas. Let's have a big. Round of applause, please, for our audience. There we go. Great. Well, right. Uh, now, we'll now, just try and... You're not going to kick me off yet, are you? A few seconds. Well, we'll try, we we'll try and see what... I was actually going to try and get back to the presentation just for a minute or two. Oh, oh my gosh, he is going to have trouble with the Mickey and Pinky and Donald. There we go. Okay, so Thomas is going down. Let's go back to the slideshow for a few more seconds just to show you a few things of what we were doing. Um, if we can understand it, right? So there we go. We had the Raspberry Pi Camp. I've also got a program called Berry Camp, which will read off this if I can ever get that connected to the network. Right? Um, so we have. One of the programs that was being used to capture the still images is Berry Still, sorry, Raspberry Still, which is actually one of the Raspberry Pi utilities. And we're using MJPEG Streamer for the live streaming, right? Yes. Um, okay, so that was the, that, this is the OLED. The OLED is connected as um, an I2, I, I squared C device, which means you can just address it from the bus. Um, there was sample code that Adafruit provided and hacked it. And it, uh, he, he intended to put it on these things because, as you discover, we have problems when we don't know the IP address, right? You can't. Uh, we tend to use our Raspberry Pis in what we call headless mode, right? So, all of you guys who use Linux, you know there are two modes. There's like a console mode and there's a useful graphic mode. You don't want to do graphics on the Pi. Right? Because it takes up a lot of memory and it slows it down. It's not exactly the most muscular thing on the planet. So, well, um, you know, what we tend to do is we run it headless, and if possible, we run it headless on Wi Fi so you go into it through an SSH shell. Right? If you don't know the IP address, it's slightly difficult getting into it through an SSH shell because you don't know what to talk to. So, yeah, he wanted to use these things on his got. We've got a whole barrage of these things at home, right? Uh, and he wants to have each one displaying its IP address so that you can go in and look into them. Um, right, sound. I can't show, I'm sorry, I can't show the sound. I'd love to show the sound. That sounds on this one. This one, you might need to get it through, through the terminal. All the, all the network. I'm going to try it one last time because I'm a sucker for punishment, right? Just one last time. Um, that for me. No, no, no. Something has happened. That is a, that is a great shame because. So you've got to change that after. No, it's the same adapter now. Oh, it's the same adapter that was in Thomas two seconds ago. So something is something funny is going on. Right, something is rotten in the state of Denmark. I think they say. Uh, which is a great shame because I also had it playing the Thomas theme. You know the Thomas theme? Da 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 da. Assume I'm a robot. Da 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 if I can get rid of oh, yeah. I can get rid of the little one. Right? In addition to that, the servos, which also you would have seen, 
So basically, servos, for those of you who don't know this, they put like things they put in, in uh, radio control planes and stuff. Um, they're motors where you control the position rather than speed. Right? So if I were to open this thing up, this we can do, and without the servo, you'll see that this servo has got a little cross thing on it, and I can, I can make it rotate to any position. And theoretically, if we can control it, we can make it do that and do that, go up and down. Which isn't much, but if you're, if you're a thirsty train and you need water, and you're a water pump, it's nice if you can come down and give you water. Right? So, um, basically, servos use a feedback circuit. RC servos have got a three wire connector, which they do five volts ground and control. And you talk to it using pulses. And the width of the pulse will determine the angle of the servo. Right? Uh, which you can do on a Pi by software. But once you're doing it, you're using up a lot of the Pi's um, processing power. So having the Raspberry Juice giving you the right angle is really cool. And I want to put some nice demos of this out sometime soon. Right? And it would have been really nice if I could have showed you how you can use this, just this single command to set the position. But I can't. And I can't show you how this amazing script will make it move up and down. So. That was it. Can we have a stream video working? Can you do a stream video? It's on the ground. There it is. Oh, stream video. There we go. Wonderful. Ooh. It's going round and round and round. I think we're probably at that point in the evening where we've got to bow up for so, so, as I said, at the beginning, I, I had to apologize for not having it all set up really well. In the middle of things cock out. So, sorry it didn't go quite as smoothly as expected. I hope there was something here that was fun and interesting. Um, I think I better shut up now. <laughs>